हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार वेलकम टू करियर श्री सिक्सटी द नीट एग्जाम इज डन बट ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेटिंग फॉर द स्कोर वाई यू वेटिंग फॉर द स्कोर वॉट वी गोट डू टूडे इज टू टेल यू वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ रैंक दैट यू नीड टू गेट इन टू वन ऑफ द बेस्ट मेडिकल कॉलेज इन द कंट्री एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्कोर रैंक वुड लीड यू देयर इज समथिंग दैट वी गोट डिस्कस इन डिटेल लेट मी फर्स्ट टेल यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन दैट यू आर फेसिंग एंड how it's going to pan out in terms of your possibilities and chances in all this time around about 23 lakh students applied for the examination but only 21 lakh students took the examination and this is about 10% lesser right you have what was 23.33 lakh students who appeared for the exam this year most likely the number of students who appeared for the examination is only 21 lakh which is about 10% lesser so to that extent you are dealing with a 10% lesser competition of course we are dealing with a different issue also of how difficult the paper is and all but the difficulty level of the paper is the same for every single student which means overall the scores that you will get is will come down but the rank will still remain where it is because everyone is facing the most difficult paper that you had and if that were to be true and you also dealing with 10% you know lesser competition your rank is likely to be better this time around right with that being the background how does it work out in all for that again you need to understand how many seats are there and how many colleges are there there are about 780 medical colleges in the country right of which government is 427 but that's not as important as the fact that government medical colleges have about 50.6% seats and the private medical colleges have about 49.4% of seats right now which is the private and the deep the number is about 59 60000 so in all we we have dealing with 118190 seats right and about 50 50 of them in that sense so that is the competition that you have and most of you are fighting to be a part of this government medical college that to the unreserved or, or whatever quota you come in with if you are an unreserved seat student you are essentially dealing with about 30000 seats because of the 59 60000 seats 30000 is for general quota then you have ews pwd obc sc st and other state quota including army quota and those kind of things will happen right but that's the number that you're dealing with unless you get a 30000 rank it's very difficult for you to get into a good government medical college of course it depends on the state also some states the competition is lesser so even at 1 2 lakh you must still get into a government medical college that's something that is different right now when we deal with aims right now what we're talking about is how do you get into aims and what kind of rank that you require to get into one of the aims there are 20 aims in the country the 20 all indian institute of medical sciences in the country and these 20 aims have about 2069 seats the 20 aims have 2069 seats but last year the highest rank for which you still could get into aims was 8765 open category is what we dealing with remember we are dealing with the open category what it means is that if you are getting a rank of less than 9000 the chances that you will get into one of the aims is very remote very less because previously it was 6800 and last year it was 8765 so anything less than 9000 this time there is not much increase in the aims number of seats that you have right so you will deal with about 9000 rank and what is what you are dealing with now based on that again you f- go further down what is the kind of the you know and within aims there is competition in terms of which one is a better aims of course aims new delhi is the best then rishikesh bhuneshwar and those kind of things based on the nrf ranking what you i am showing you what we dealing with uh, aims new delhi of course is the f- best medical institute in the country then you have aims rishikesh aims bhuneshwar aims jodhpur aims patna and all now if you see this closely here between 1 and 14 there are 12 medical institutions which are not aims but are still very good some of them are private some of them are deemed some of them are still public but they better than the next lot of aims that you have and this is something that you must keep it in your mind when you choosing a medical college it's important for you to understand that just because it's names it might not be the best medical institute don't compare aims delhi with anything else aims delhi is a league of it, of its own but after that you have well medical colleges well which are very very good but not in the form of the list because they are not in aims and that is something that you must understand right this is based on ranking of nrf which is the government of india ranking right you have aims rishikesh bhuneshwar jodhpur patna bhopal raipur 
who have been ranked by NRF, the others have not even been ranked. There are 20 of which only 7 are ranked. 13 are not even ranked, which means they don't, they're not figuring in the top 100 medical colleges in the country. But they're still AIMS, right? Then you actually have AIMS Nagpur, AIMS Mang Mangalgiri, they were and all, which career city has ranked. And we took that in that pecking order in that sense, right? Then we have, and by the way, the total intake of seats also is given on the right. You, you can look at that, you can take a screenshot of that and use it for your own purpose. Right. Then you have Ames, Gorakhpur, Kalyani Nadia, Rai Bareilly, Bibinagar, Batinda, Vijaypur, Gauhati, Bilaspur, Rajkot and Madurai. These are 20 aims that you have and these are the number of seats that each of them you have. Right. All put together, we are dealing with about 2069 seats. 2069 seats. This is what we are dealing with. And within that you actually have the reservation, unreserved, vagara vagara. So you are dealing with about 1000 seats for the unreserved category possibly. Right. Now, let's look at how difficult is it to get into an AIMS. And of course, AIMS Delhi is the best. So when you're dealing with AIMS Delhi, you need to be the best of the best of the best. There are 21 lakh students who take the examination. Unless you get the one of the best ranks possible, it's extremely difficult or well nigh impossible for you to get into AIMS Delhi. You look at the rank that you have, right, last year, in 2024, 2024, at rank 47 in the open category, you could, you know, you it was close, over and done with. You got rank 48, you don't have a chance. Only that up to rank 47, students could get into AIMS LA in the open category. If you're an OBC, it's 186 rank. If you're an EWS, 214 rank. SC, 647 rank. And ST, 1150 rank. And by the way, all these are very, very good ranks. At 1150 also for SC, it's extremely good rank. Right? And in the previous year, it was 57, 255 and those kind of things in 23. But you look at the 24 and look at the rank. Don't look at the score for a moment. I have also given you the score. But this time, this score is 715 here would be about 620 or something. That's the kind of score deflation that you had. I told you about 12% score deflation. So what is 715? You reduce 12% of that. About 85 of that. Then you're dealing with about 620, 630, 640. That's the kind of rank deflation that we are forcing at this point in time. And I'm not talking of the uh, the best of the best, you know, the, uh, the people who should be isolated. Because they're still at the top level, they might not be much change. But as you keep coming down in the lump, you will see a massive change, about 12%, 14% drop in the scores. Right. But this is what you're dealing with. The rank should be this for you to get, get into aims early, which means this 21 lakh should be the best of the best of the best. And only then you can get in. A similar thing I've done for every other AIMS also. You can take a screenshot of that as you move along. I've done that for, for example, AIMS Rishikesh, where the closing rank last year was 731 for general category. For OBC, it's 1139. And look at the score difference, not much, 705 to 700, right? 1200 uh, for EWS, 8393 for, uh, you know, SC, and 19,156. But look at the score differential, not much, you know, 705, 700, 700. Between e OBC and EWS, there is no difference at all. Right. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the OBC is becoming as competitive as general category because the number of people who are lying there in OBC also is very, very high. It's extremely competitive. And to that extent, the competition is so high that OBC and general category and EWS, there is not much of a difference in, the, in terms of the merit. Then you look at the next part, which is in Bhuvaneshwar. Again, here the closing rank here was 655 at 705 rank. OBC was 1278 at 700 rank. EWS was 1940 and so on and so forth. You can actually look at this, this Bhuvaneshwar for you, right? Then you have uh, Ames Jodhpur. He, this is more competitive, by the way. Jodhpur is very competitive because it comes in the state of Rajasthan. So, quota, uh, all those things that you have, you know, you are actually dealing with that. 374 closing rank in the open category for Ames Jodhpur, followed by OBC for 695 rank. Look at the score difference. Seven, earlier it was 705 and 700, it's now 710 and 705. Right. Between OBC and DWS, again, no, not much difference. Both got 6705 score. Though the rank might be slightly different because at one single mark, four marks, you will actually see a lot of things out there. Right. You can take a screenshot of all these things as I keep moving on. Right. Then you have Ames Patna, 1476 being the open category closing rank, followed by OBC at 2004. EWS 2927 and so on and so forth. Please take a screenshot. I don't want to keep repeating this again and again, right? Then you have AIMS Bhopal. This is very competitive. 510 is the closing rank, right? Uh, at 705 score 
out of 720, uh, OBC at 1135 and EWC is much better at 1113. So EWC is 701 and OBC is 700. So just look at how it's turned the tables around and then the other uh, reserved categories. Then you have Ames Raipur at 1180 closing rank, OBC 2062. Take a screenshot of these things also. You have Ames Nagpur at 953 closing rank for open category. You have Ames Mangalagiri at 1930, slightly lesser competitive. At 695 score also you could get into Ames at 1930 closing rank. OBC is 3575. Then you have uh, Ames Deogad at 3764 4 closing rank for general category and 4181 for OBC and then you can go through it. At 61,000 also if you are an ST you will get a seat in, at Ames uh, Deogad. Uh, Ames Gorakhpur, UP, 2448, so less competitive if you look at it from that perspective. 27494 OBC, not much difference here if you see. 695, 693 and 690 score last year of course, right. This year it will be in my opinion 550, 540, uh, 550, 65, 70. But that's where it is and you will see the difference out here, right. And it continues going in that direction, right. Then you have Ames Raibareli. 2994 rank also you could get in, 3549 for OBC, 4216 for EWS and 28,053 for SE and ST. Ames Batinda, 1609, 2797 as a closing ranks. Ames VB Nagar at 2588 and 4020, 440. Now you look at this difference, 689 and 686. That's the kind of difference that we're dealing with. OBC, EWS, EWS and many times general category are now equally competitive in terms of merit and score and everything. Right. Then you have Ames Vijaypur. 3787, 4718 and 5300, not much difference here also, 690, 685 and 685 score. Then you have Ames Gauhati, again not much difference, 3784, 4746, 5218. Now you look at this whole thing and keep one number at, at the back of your mind. Have you noticed anything which is more than 7000, 8000 rank here to get into Ames? You don't have it. Everything is stuck, sticking around 3000, 4000, 5000 kind of a thing at general category, OBC or even EWS. Then you have, uh, you know, Ames Bilaspur, 2401, 3386 and 4135, right? Again, less than 4000, very difficult for you to get in. Then you have Ames Rajkot, 2194, 3121 and 3824. Again, less than 4000 if you look at it closely, right? Then you have Ames Madurai. Here, it's slightly, because it's a new Ames, it was less competitive, but this time, it's going to be more competitive, right? But last time, it was 8765 for general category, 9299 for, uh, you know, OBC, and 10757 for EWS. This year, it's going to be very, very competitive, and it'll, come, it'll challenge the other Ames also, right? So, this is what you have of all the Ames. What we try to tell you is, at what rank, at what score you are likely to get into AIMS. But this time we are not talking of score because in my opinion it is going to be all over the place. The score deflation would be about 12 to 15 percent and if you were to deal with it that way then what was 700 last time would be 600 this year. What was 650 last year would be about 570, 560 this year. And if that were to happen then unless you get about 550 and above, AIMS at this point in time is might be a challenge but more importantly if I were to remove the score for a moment because the score is this, the difficulty level of the paper is the same for everyone what we're talking about here is that unless you get a rank of about eight nine thousand the chances of you getting into aims in general category is very less and that similar thing holds good for if you are an OBC or an EWS student also and SCST and ST there will be a bit more relaxation I hope this works we'll also keep doing this for the other government medical colleges if you need any help if you need any assistance please talk to us if you need any counseling Talk to us. We are, as counselors, are waiting to help you out to get into the best college. We don't represent anyone. We only want to help you to get, get you into the best college. So if you still have a problem, come to careers360.com, go and register and ask for a counselor to call you up. The counselor will call you up and you can actually have a good conversation to exactly understand which is the best college suited for you and whether you will have a great chance of getting into those colleges. Thank you so much. Namaskar.